In yesterday's tutorial, the thumbnail and one of the end results was a brunette and during the tutorial I showed you that I created this plant and there was a comment here it is and basically translated this is just during the tutorial it was a blonde uh, but by the end it's a brunette and I never showed how to do that and that was just time I just assumed that people would go away and use their imagination um, and know that all I did is just switch around some materials and such but I didn't make that clear did I I was in such a rush so that person is absolutely correct so what I'm going to show you is how I changed this blonde into the brunette you saw I mean that's fair enough right I wouldn't normally do this because I'm short for time but today I do have the time so I'm going to show you right so let's open this up here she is so after I'd finished in character creator this is what we had and I noticed she's got no eyebrows um, and when I looked at this background I kind of wanted this dress to be red and then I thought well because the dress is going to be red maybe I will make the hair a bit darker as well so that's what I did and all I did is if we zoom in on our character first thing I did is I realized there were no eyebrows on the character I brought in from character creator so I did have another one in this product project which was just Camilla from character creator 4 so well, let me try this one there we go now she's got eyebrows and all this is is Camilla from character creator it's just the, the material that was created when I imported her originally so I did that and then um, obviously we've got this dress and so what I did is I went to uh, the cloth for the dress we can highlight that look that's what it is and I opened up that material the first thing I did is went to this cloth material I set the saturation to zero to remove the blue and save and then it's it's gray now and then what I did is come up to base color and I just set uh, I went red and then I dragged this down I think it was around 0.22 yep around there 0.22 so if we go back now she's got a red dress I then went to color and did the same around 0.22 on red and the others were zero like so maybe that needs to be a little bit darker so we'll drag that down like so there we go and we'll just save that then I went to the hair there is four materials for the hair here look okay so what I did is just went to those and I again I went here and I just reddened it I darkened it like so I then dragged that into red so there was like kind of a, a red rather than being a brunette it's more like a, a red color like so and we'll copy that and then I went to the next one and I just pasted like so save let's close some of these now and the next hair again base color tint paste save and this final one check the checkbox oops and paste and there we have it we now have our brunette so if I go to our scene 
there we go and then in the final imagery uh, there was just some post processing done with luminar um, in hindsight I probably wouldn't have done this because looking back the blonde character actually looked much better but that's all I did so once you have all the base in place you've imported your character you can literally modify it to look anywhere you want I mean if we look at this scene for example I did speed up the scene um, let's have a look at the scene so I'd imported the character if we look here this is just a image of image from pexels.com okay and then in front of that this steam is the steam that comes with the starter pack and then we have some dust particles again they come with the starter pack and then we have one two three lights uh, rec lights and then two point lights and i just move them around until i was happy i mean there's no science i've said this before in other tutorials there's no science to what i'm doing it's like painting a picture so uh, that's how i'm looking at it. i'm like mushing it all together with 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 light i'm, I'm no expert um i've still got many years of practice before i think i will be any good but that's it right so i'm running out of words now because that's all i wanted to show today it's just there's no invisible magic that i didn't show you all i did is just change a couple of materials and it changes it into a, a brunette another question was about using the skin gen premium plugin the paid plugin and i think i am going to do that because i know there'll be a few people out there as well that maybe they want to purchase that but are not sure if it's worth the money so i may do that but i do want to balance out uh, doing reillusion stuff with everything else because not everybody has reillusion software because it is very expensive in my opinion it is worth it but that's just my opinion right that's it um i hope you found this useful and if you've got any more questions uh just comment below and that's it thanks for watching Thank you.